Hello there, I'm Toby Brown and this is Baxter Brown and this is going to be the first of uh, my little um, social media tweet podcast things um, because I've been told that's quite a good thing to do nowadays. So I've been asked probably uh, three or four times today already, how's the market? It's the dreaded question when you're an estate agent, especially at dinner parties when the last thing you want to be asked is, how's the market? You know, how's the carrots maybe, but the market, not so much. It's the the question I'm asked every day. But, how is the market? Well, it's Christmas 2018, so I thought I'd I'd take this opportunity to give you my first little, how's the market? And I'm gonna continue to do that for um, different quarters throughout 2019. The market isn't that bad, despite Brexit, despite all the nervous wobbles in the political and economical world, prices have only actually gone down 6% in Earl's Court this year, and Kensington and Chelsea, they, they've actually gone up a very small amount. The basic theme is nothing has happened. If you ask the man on the street how the market is, then he'll say, well, the market's gone down 20%. The, the, the more stark fact is that transactions are down 32%, which isn't so friendly. But actually, you know, we've just sold a property that's nearly four million pounds um, to, a, to a buyer who completed in three weeks. Um, there are some substantial sales happening despite very large stamp duties and prime ministers that may come and go. I was at lunch today with a lovely couple who started buying properties in, in, in the 80s. And he uh, alluded to the fact that actually th- these times aren't so bad at the moment. In in the early 90s, when interest rates went up to 27%, that was the time that we all needed to worry. Whereas now, you know, interest rates are pretty good. Um, Mortgage rates are very competitive. um, And actually, you could argue it's a very good opportunity to buy at the moment. When when you haven't got so much competition, there aren't so many transactions going through, and Baxter's asleep, um, then now's the time to pounce on the market. If an owner is desperate to sell but due to a, a personal reason, they're getting married, they're getting divorced, they're having another baby, all the sort of general reasons of moving, then they might well accept a, a much lower offer at the moment than they wouldn't otherwise do because of Brexit, because of nervous uncertainties. That's back to his mum who's just going. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so my tip for 2019 is seize the day, you know, get on the horse as soon as you can in, in January, go out looking, put in some offers, because you might well just, just pick out an owner that, that just needs to sell for a particular reason. Don't wait for another two years, when the prices will all start rocketing up like they did in 2013, 14, when they went up like 28% in a year. Okay, you don't want to be lining up outside a house and going to bidding wars. Big now, get a good price, you know, maybe a brilliant price. But don't be left out in two years' time when prices start rocketing and you regret it. Happy Christmas.